hello everyone hope you're right in this video i'm going to show you few containers which i planted so i thought you might want to see what kind of plants i'm putting together so to give you some ideas on planting containers so here i have got some plants which i went shopping to my local garden center so i can get few annual flowering plants to plant my containers here is the one which i planted a couple of weeks ago and it is doing really well i have got hibi in the middle and i have got seneti coleus and danthus as the pillars and some impetians and ivy vine as spiller here is the one which is from last year so i had tulips in it which are done now so i have replaced them with impetians and i have got an ivy vine in there so this container I'm going to plant with marigolds and petunias and I have filled the container with multipurpose compost these days uh, when you buy the compost you can spot some eggs in there so if you do please remove them. Here is my cosmos plant which I'm going to use as the centerpiece it has like deep magenta color flowers so I think it will look beautiful at the back of the container as a centerpiece. I used to grow cosmos from seeds but every time i grew them they got so large so large and they would flower at the end of the growing season so i wasn't really impressed with them the flowers are beautiful but i don't really like the plants which grow so large but blooms only for a few weeks so this time i tried buying one so see let's see how it goes and i have got two marigold plants which are african marigolds one yellow and one orange they are a bit expensive but i really like them i used to grow the other marigolds from seeds and this year i haven't got any seeds but i do like them but i always admire these african marigolds they are nice big and beautiful so i thought this year i give them a try so these two will go on the sides of the cosmos plant and hopefully this will be a good backdrop at the back of the container I have got petunia plants some of them are bigger blooms and some of them are smaller blue ones so I'm going to use two colors here one like deep colors magenta and purple and the other like yellow lime yellow colors so I think it will make a good combination uh, yellow opposite purple and deep magenta color so I'm going to plant three petunia plants which are like bigger blooms in the middle and then i'm going to plant the yellow ones lime yellow ones which are smaller blooms around the edge of the container So I'm done planting my first container and it is looking so beautiful. I'm already loving it. I love the combination. I have added a couple of lobelia plants which have nice blue small blooms and it's so adorable. Now I'm going to plant another container. I had some platform condition in there and a blueberry which wasn't performing so I have taken it out and I'm going to replant it now. So I have refreshed the container by adding more compost into it and this container i'm going to plant like with kala lily as a center plant uh, i have seen kala lilies and i really like them but i wasn't really sure whether they will grow well in our climate or not uh, recently i have seen them in garden centers and i guess i can give them a try so they do like you know tropical warm weather and uh, in the winter you can overwinter them inside a garage or a cold frame so this will be my first time growing kala lily i have bought this beautiful big kala lily plant from the garden center and it is really really beautiful with these big trumpet shaped uh, purple flowers and you can see the leaves are so beautiful as well 
so i'm going to plant the container with impedians petunias and coleus so i have got a couple of impedians which are left over from other projects so i'm going to use them in here they are of light peachy orange color so they will go good with this purple flower color lily and i have got petunias the different color ones so i can fill the gaps with them So I'm done planting kala lilies, impantians and petunias and it's looking beautiful but there are some gaps which I want to fill up. So I have got some coleus plants which I overwintered and basically I took the cuttings and root them in the water so I have got them so I thought I could plant them in between the gaps. These are from the royalty coleus and they are like deep magenta variegated leaves and I think they will complement well the purple flowers of kala lily plants just i'm a bit unsure because kala lilies like sunny location and one is like shady spot so this spot is kind of you know in the at the edge it gets sun but then it has a tree over it so it's like you know filtered sun so i'm going to give it a try anyway no harm if it doesn't work out but it's looking already so beautiful and once these plants grow and fill up, this will be such a stunning display. Isn't it looking so beautiful and gorgeous? Please let me know in comments what do you think. Now I'm going to plant my final container and this has some plants in it which I have pulled out. And I'm going to refresh the compost and I have added a fresh layer of compost which is nice and loose. So I'm going to spread it evenly. In this container, I'm going to plant summer savory, which is an annual flowering plant in the middle of the container as a centerpiece. It blooms small purple flowers and it blooms for the summer. Uh, it is a herb and smells really nice. It's kind of lavender, but lavender is like more on grayish green side foliage and this is like bright green foliage. So I used it as a centerpiece and I'm going to plant my petunias around the edge of the container which is like mix of different colors uh, the bigger ones and the small yellow ones i will use so i think the purple and yellow will go as a good combination as well So I'm done planting this container and it is looking quite green at the moment because there are not many flowers but hopefully they will grow and fill up with flowers and it will be a beautiful combination. So if you want to keep updated about the growth of these containers and how they look into the summer please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos. Thank you very much for watching today. See you next time. Bye.